Hello everyone and welcome to another quick video that will help you become better Flutter developer. In this video I will be telling you some of the Flutter packages that will make your life easier when it comes to handling small but important Flutter tasks. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. Number 3 in our list is Package Rename. Package Rename will help you rename your Flutter packages according to your need. The title says it all. Faster way to configure your package name. Instead of going through all the files or even doing the rename, this package will handle 30 files across 15 folders on different platforms like Android, iOS, macOS, Linux, Web and Windows. At first, let me open up my terminal so that I can create a new Flutter project. I will go to my desktop and write flutter create command to create a new Flutter project with the name flutter tips. Now let's go inside that folder so that I can open it directly in my Visual Studio code and I will write this command code with a space and full stop. So we got a project open. At first I will showcase the android manifest to show you the default package name that is available and also the default name for our application. Let's see what we have to do to make this work. I will add the package rename to our dev dependency section. And now after we got this, we need to write this command so... So let me just go to my perspective file and we need to paste this outside any of these dependency or dev dependency classes. Let me showcase you the existing package name and title first. So it is with the starting com.example and also the name is flutter tips. In app name we will write the name that we want to display to all of our users. We also have the package name. So let's say you have the website like I have backslash flutter. So the unique identifier or the package name for this can be in dot backslash flutter. So let's do the same for our android and iOS both. After we have made all the changes, it's time to save our perspect file. And run the command provided in the documentation in our particular terminal window. Congrats, you just changed the package name and also the app name in just one click. If you have coded Android apps before, then you might have seen this com then example folders in this particular format. But this was for the initially default items. Here you can see we also have this in and the backslash flutter folders. This is a new structure that has been created by this command. Also inside our android manifest we got the app name and also the packet name change. Let's see how this works. Let me just run this on our simulator and wait for my simulator to start. So we got the application started. Now to double check the bundle identifier has changed or not what we can also do is we will open up our Xcode and open this particular folder in our Xcode. So here you can see we got a particular bundle ID and also the app name change. Number 2 in our list is Flutter native splash. Most applications have splash screen that you guys designed but have you ever seen this thing when you open the app there is a white screen for few seconds and then you get your splash screen. Flutter native splash package will generate this awesome effect on that white screen so that your app looks more appealing to the end user. Currently in our application you can see a white screen is showed while app loads so we can remove that white screen with our splash screen with our logo in center. So let me just remove this previous config and add the flutter native splash in our dependencies. Remember not to place this inside our dev dependencies class. Now we can copy till here for our android and ios applications. And we can provide the background color. Let's say this will be fff which is our white color. So other than that, so other than that we also have this image that will be placed. In center so this will be assets but we need to 
but we need to be in this asset folder so let me create a reference for that but originally there is no folder inside our flutter tips so we might have to create that folder so i'll just open up my finder window and migrate to that particular project folder and create a new folder assets and it's time to search for some logos so i'll go to google and search with flutter dash logo and select one among them so right now i think this is the right one so i'll just click and save on to my assets folder right now it is of jpeg format so i think the documentation says to use png and i will definitely suggest you to create or use the png images only for this for the sake of this tutorial i will change the extension name to png nothing to worry much in that now click on save and we got the step to done let's run this So our native splash screen is completed but hold on we need one more step to do this. We need to initialize this inside our main.dart file inside our void main function. Just copy and paste this command here from the original documentation and we need to import this package as well so because this is showing us an error. One more important thing is we are calling the native splash screen but we also need to provide a method or the timer after which we want the native splash screen to be removed so what you can do is here you can see we are in the home screen so this is a stateless widget i will first of all convert this to stateful so that i can use the init init function inside the stateful widget whenever the particular home screen will be called this will be the first init function that will be executed so here i will create a timer of let's say three seconds and inside the timer i will just paste this flutter native flutter native splash dot remove command so this will disable the flutter native splash after three seconds so let's run this application in our simulator you can also run this from here i directly press the f5 key no issue and here you can see we got a native splash screen inside our application if you see we have the native splash screen here let me just terminate the app and also do this once again and we are getting this native splash screen which is looking totally awesome so this is the magic for this package and now it's time to shift to our number one package in our list so at last the number one in our list is flutter launcher icon so all you need to do is inside this div dependencies we have to remove some previous command for flutter native splash because we already done with the flutter native splash if you want you can keep those command but i don't think that you will need them again so instead of So we will replace this with the command of flutter icons here and uh, I think we will stick with the android and ios platform and and also let's have the logo.png as the app icon only you can use your custom app icon for this we are going to remove all of this and just click on saving and just click on save to save this particular perspex ml file final command in a terminal will be this which we can copy from the documentation and booyah we got the logo change let's delete the previous app and run this again so that we can check whether we got the application icon change or not so we got the app started and hopefully logo has been changed And yes we got the logo change here and these changes are also reflected in the android if you want you can add the web and windows platform all the documentation is already provided i will also be adding the link to all of these packages so these were some of the packages that i think can accelerate your flutter journey and become a better flutter developer thanks for watching have a great day ahead and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet then please press that subscribe button to never miss any of our future videos thank you